One day, just driving along, I went past the building and I knew with the right angled ramp, at this speed on the freeway, I would have jumped over that building. I had a vision right there. On the day um, when I put my helmet on, I wasn't crying, but there was tears rolling down my eyes just because I knew of the risk I was taking. One of the number one reasons you see performance at such a crazy level is thought element is taken out. You know, you have to find your place in flow. Flow sits at the heart of every gold medal that's ever been won. We believe it's responsible for major scientific breakthroughs. Fortune 500 companies have built their entire corporate philosophies around the state. I didn't even know the forces I was gonna put on my body jumping up onto a 10-story building and dropping off it. But to go and do that in that flow state, it seems quite easy. Flow is a complicated cascade of neurochemicals. You have norepinephrine, you have dopamine, serotonin, anandamide, and endorphins. The first stage of the flow cycle is known as struggle. It feels really unpleasant most of the time. The moment it becomes a little bit too difficult, we step away. And that's just the moment that I like to step into it. It came in my climbing and my skiing when I was being pushed to kind of my physical and mental limit. Struggle gives way to release. We let everything go. That's the best part is kind of letting go and seeing where it takes you. And that triggers the actual flow state itself, which is the third stage of the cycle. Your conscious mind goes out the window, subconscious kicks in, and it's uplifting. I don't think there's any other form of consciousness I can tap into to be able to take myself from here to here. So if you want to understand flow science, the first thing you need to know is the brain is a giant energy hog. So the brain is always looking for ways to conserve. So what happens in flow, as our attention goes up, the brain is performing an efficiency exchange. So it starts shutting off other parts of the prefrontal cortex. We feel this is as liberation, as freedom. I found myself tumbling down a 2,000 foot face and my senses were so reduced, I couldn't hear anything. It was totally peaceful. I was totally calm. Time dilation is caused because time is calculated all over the prefrontal cortex and as parts of it start to wink out, everything condenses into what psychologists call the elongated now. Details now that are in my head from those couple of seconds, four seconds from dying, I did something I still can't do um, if I train for it. Flow is like being swept up by the river of ultimate human performance. We are better, faster, stronger. All aspects are amplified. Thank you.